Firms like as Harley-Davidson enjoy following the factory hot rod craze by producing limited edition motorcycles that consistently sell out. The custom vehicle operations line will celebrate its 25th anniversary in 2024, and the motor company's most robust and performance-focused limited edition vehicle to date is undoubtedly the new CVO Road Glide ST. Harley claims that its participation in the Moto America Mission King of the Baggers Championship, which it claims was the first time development moved straight from the racetrack to the showroom, was the direct inspiration and influence behind the model. The 2024 Street Glide and Road Glide bikes were just announced by the motor company, so the CVO Road Glide ST is not the only new Harley-Davidson bagger. And although those devices have a ton of upgrades, modifications, and innovations, the CVO ST enhances the Road Glide base model. The CVO variant has a different engine, better suspension, updated electronics, and is somewhat lighter. It also has a few special features that are exclusive to CVO versions. Performance is more important to the model than profile, according to HD Chief Engineer Scott Nash. Customers of CVO have always desired uniqueness, and the CVO ST offers an engine that is exclusive to this model and not available on any other Harley. Initially off, the ST is equipped with a 121C 1977cc engine, which was initially offered in the CVO model last year. This particular engine is known as the 121 high output. The VVT variable valve timing engines of Harley's other CVO Road Glide and Street Glide versions stretch torque throughout a wider rev range, but the 121HO prioritizes maximum power production with a high-performance camshaft and a raised redline of 5,900 revolutions per minute. The stated output is 145 LB featuring a peak torque at 4,000 revolutions per minute and 127 horsepower at 4,900 revolutions per minute. The base 121 with VVT produces 139 LB featuring of torque at 3000 revolutions per minute and 115 horsepower at 4500 revolutions per minute. Two pounds are removed from the 121 engine's weight when the VVT system is removed. A race-inspired intake exclusive to the hoe modifies the conventional 121 VVT by forcing 26% more air through a 58mm throttle body. The length of the intake's channel is optimized for maximum power and torque, but not for broader power. A pair of Screamin' Eagle's Extreme Flow titanium slip-on exhausts at the other end provide the most airflow while yet adhering to legal noise and emission limits. For reduced weight, the mufflers have titanium shells with forged carbon fiber end caps. The HO has the same revised cylinder head design, 11.4, 1 compression ratio, and reworked aluminum intakes manifold as the normal 121. A liquid-cooled cylinder head, similar to the one seen on the HO, directs fluid around the exhaust valves, cooling the more closed rear cylinders first followed by the front cylinders, and then going via heat exchanger situated on the lower front frames. The output pulley has been reduced from 32 to 30 teeth in order to lower the final drive ratio and improve early acceleration for the CVO Road Glide ST. This should also offset the decreased low RPM power that results from the deactivation of VVT. Naturally, suspension plays a major role in handling performance. Harley has fitted the ST with an amazing suspension system, which features a 47mm inverted Showa 1x1 one one fork with an inner stanchion coated in diamond-like carbon. With 4.6 inches of travel, the device is fully adjustable for rebound dampening, compression, and spring preload. The CVO ST now has 3 inches of more rear wheel travel, which is 50% more than the new base model Road Glide. Showa also makes the rear suspension, which consists of two fully adjustable shocks with a remote reservoir for improved performance during intense use. The Moto Bar and Riser, which raises the handlebars 6 inches above the top clamp and lets the arms rest securely in the corner, are what set the CVO ST apart. 
The outside bar seems too far away for this 5'11 tester while attempting a double Gymkhana style U-turn, but otherwise, the bar works excellent in 90% of riding conditions, as it does on most apes or larger handlebars. Regarding those U-turns, they do stand out from everything else on the course. Yes, after braking from 95 miles per hour, these extremely slow turns are difficult, but the ST can also slow dance. Regarding the braking system, there is a 4-piston Brembo and a 300mm disc out back, and a pair of Brembo monoblock calipers up front that clamps a pair of 320mm wave-style discs using 4-piston radial mounts. The infotainment system of the Skyline OS is new. All analog equipment, including the prior 6.5-inch display, has been replaced with a huge 12.3-inch full-color TFT display with an anti-glare coating. There are other display modes available on the bright display, including an extremely bright high contrast mode. Additionally, riders have a choice of three display options, Tour, Sport, and Cruise. The largest change from the other two modes is available in the Tour mode, which centers the navigation map and moves the gear position, fuel gauge, along with speedometer to the left of the screen. The CVOST, a $350 extra, has navigation, unlike the regular road glide.